Hello students, welcome back to online session. This is Sridevi Alde from Appa Public School. Today I am here to discuss the question and answers of latitudes and longitudes. This is the second lesson from your textbook. Children, all of you are get ready with your textbooks. Open your textbooks, page number 13. Okay, here children, large land masses take off. This is first one here, take off. Large land masses on the earth are called what are large land masses on the earth called? Large land masses are called water. Continents. Okay. What are continents? Large land masses are called continents. This is take off. Okay. Here, second question. About 70% of the earth's surface is covered with the water okay 70 percent of the earth surface is covered with the water understood children already these points i told you while explaining globes and maps that is first lesson here which map is this physical map political map and thematic map we have three maps now which map is this what kind of map is this this is physical map what does physical map shows Physical map shows the natural features of the earth. What are the natural features of the earth, children? Mountains, plains, plate views. Okay. Now, say page number. Open page number 17. Okay. Now. Page number. Seventeen. Okay, page number seventeen. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers. See, first question. What is first question? Let us see now. Week number A, first question. Okay, the equator is the dash latitude. Of equator is which latitude, ma? Zero degree latitude or which latitude? Here options are given. Three options are given. 0 degree, 90 degree and 23 degree. Among these three answers, which one is correct? 0 degree latitude is also called as an equator. Understood children? Now second one. Here I am not writing questions children. Only answers I am writing. Look at carefully. Okay. Say <coughs> Greenwich is located in dash. Answers are given England, USA, Germany. Okay. Which is the correct answer? England. Okay. Next. The Tropic of Cancer is a dash. Here three answers are given. Latitude, Longitude, Meridian. Tropic of Cancer. Okay. Tropic of Cancer is a latitude or longitude? It is a latitude. We have four important latitudes other than Equator, North Pole and South Pole. Among these four important latitudes, this is one. Okay. Tropic of Cancer is a latitude. Now, fourth one. <coughs> All dash are equal in length. All latitudes are equal in length or all longitudes are being, uh, equal in length. All longitudes are equal in length, not latitudes. Okay. Here, fourth one, longitudes. All longitudes are equal in length. Next, the dash is the zero degree Longitude. Here three options are given. Which is the correct answer? Equator, prime meridian, Arctic circle. Which is the correct answer, children? The prime meridian is a zero degree longitude. See, zero degree latitude is called equator. Zero degree longitude is called prime meridian. Okay. Fifth answer is prime meridian. See, prime meridian is also called as Greenwich Meridian. Why it is called as Greenwich Meridian? Because it passes through a place called Greenwich. Okay, in United Kingdom. Understood, children? Now, here, let us come to 
B. Which number? B. Okay. First one. Name the following. B. Bit number B. Name the following. Say. First one. <coughs> Under B. First one. Say. The meridian of longitude that divides the earth into equal halves. See, the equator divides the earth into two equal halves. What are they? Northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Here, the meridian he is asking. Meridian means longitude. Okay, which longitude divides the earth into two equal halves? Okay, prime meridian. Prime meridian is nothing but zero degree meridian. Divides the earth into two hemispheres. They are eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. Now I will see second one. <coughs> second question. The line of latitude at 90 degree north. Okay. The line of latitude at 90 degree north. 90 degree north latitude is called North Pole. Okay. 90 degree north latitude is called North Pole. Understood children? Here. Now, third one. <coughs> The half of the earth located to the north of equator. The half of the earth located to north of equator. See, equator divides the earth into two equal halves now. This one is northern side, this one is southern side. North of equator is called northern hemisphere. Understood, children? What is it called? Northern hemisphere. Third one, northern Hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Next one, fourth one. The parallel of latitude at 23 and a half degree north. Okay, parallels are also called as latitudes. Okay, 23 and a half degree north latitude is called what? 23 and a half degree north latitude. Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer is called 23 and a half degree north latitude. 23 and a half degree south latitude is called Tropic of Capricorn. Understood children? Now, fifth one. Here, a network formed by the intersection of vertical and horizontal lines. See, this is a network. Okay, here, this is a network. What is this called? This is called network. Okay. Network formed by latitudes and longitudes. These horizontal lines are latitudes and these vertical lines are uh, longitudes. The network formed by latitudes and longitudes. That means intersection of latitudes and long longitudes is called grid. Okay. The network of latitudes and longitudes is called grid. Intersection. Intersection means join which with each other. Understood, children? Now, <coughs> here, <coughs> Page number 17 only. Page number 17. Here C. Page number C. Write T for true and F for false. First one. Under C, first one. Say, the equator helps us to measure the time. Okay. Equator helps us to measure the time. It is false. According to me, it is false. Why it is false? Equator doesn't help us, help us to measure the time. What helps us to measure the time? Prime meridian helps us to measure the time. Okay. This is false. Next one is, second one. The meridians of longitude run parallel to each other. The meridians. Meridians means longitudes. Longitudes run uh, parallel to each other or not? No. 
what run uh, parallel to each other latitudes run parallel to each other not longitudes here longitudes is given that means meridians is given it is false third one <coughs> the parallels of latitude are circles here parallels of latitudes how they are drawn they are drawn around the globe okay say parallels of latitudes are a circles it is true Next one, say <clears throat> fourth one. The North Pole is located at zero degree north. See what I told you? Zero degree here. What is given? The North Pole is located at zero degree north. Say where is the North Pole located? North Pole is located at a ninety degree north, not zero degree north. Ninety degree north latitude is called North Pole. It is true or false, children? It is false. Fourth one is false. Next, fifth one. <clears throat> Here, fifth one. Parallels and uh, meridians crisscross to form the grid. Parallels and meridians. Parallels means horizontal lines, and meridians means vertical lines. They crisscross to form a grid. That means they intersect. Crisscross means they intersect with each other to form a grid. It is true. Okay. This is true. Now, next one. See, this is the flow, children. Here we have latitudes and longitudes. Vertical lines are called a latitude, uh, longitudes. Okay, vertical lines are called a longitudes and uh, horizontal lines. Okay, horizontal lines. Here are horizontal lines. Okay, these are called a what? Latitudes. Latitudes are also called as parallels. Okay. Now, page number 18. Page number 18. Page. Page number 18. Answer these questions. Bit D. D. Okay, bit number D. Answer these questions. What is equator? First question. Question number one. Question number one. Okay. There is the equator. Now answer. The equator is the Parallel of latitude. Parallel of latitude that runs that runs midway. 
through the through the earth it is the zero degree latitude and device device the earth into the earth into two equal halves or hemispheres say first question under the first question say children what is the equator this is the question what is the answer the equator is the parallel say the equator is the parallel of latitude that runs midway through the earth okay it is the zero degree latitude and divides the earth into two equal halves or hemispheres say equator is an important latitude why it is an important latitude because it divides the earth into two equal halves one is northern hemisphere and one other one is southern hemisphere say this is the equator here this is the longest latitude is called equator here zero degree latitude the equator is the parallel of latitude this is the parallel of latitude okay runs midway through the earth see it runs middle of the earth okay middle of the earth it is zero degree latitude and divides the earth into two equal halves now second question children here is the second question question number 2 what are parallel of latitude what are parallel of what are parallels of latitude okay now answer parallels of latitude are the circles of latitude circles of latitude which run each other parallel to each other the latitudes the latitudes are also
Thank you. 
the point where they are intersecting with each other no that is the location of a particular place with the help of this we can find out the location of the place <coughs> Next question. <clears throat> Fifth one. What is the international day time? International day time. Answer. The international decline is an imaginary line which follows follows the one eighty But it, it is not a longitude. It is not a longitude. It is It is used to calculate. Calculate is used to calculate dates by the longitudes are used to calculate. See here, yeah, what is international dateline? So children, the international dateline is an imaginary line. See so children, whatever, whatever the uh, lines we are saying, no, all the lines are imaginary lines. They are not real lines. The earth does not have any lines. In order to study the earth, we assume that so and so lines are there on the earth. Real earth does, uh, the real earth does not have any lines to them. All are imaginary lines only. Imaginary means not real. Okay. The international date line is an imaginary line which follows the 180 degree meridian. It follows 180 degree meridian. But it is not a longitude. Okay. But it is not a longitude. <coughs> Longitude itself. It is used to calculate dates while the longitudes are used to calculate the time. International date line is used to calculate the dates. Longitudes are used to calculate the what time. Okay. <coughs> See children, <coughs> all the countries in the world made an agreement that each calendar day begin at begins at midnight. Okay. International date line is taken as reference to reference point to find the date okay <clears throat> see here international date line is taken as a reference point to find the date according to this agreement all the places on the east of the international is one day 
earlier than the west of the international day time. Suppose this is the international day time. Huh? Okay, this is east and this is west. All the same. All the countries which, is, which are located to the west of the international day time are one day. <coughs> See, all the countries which are located to the east of the international date line are one day earlier than the west of the international date line. Okay. See, suppose here Sunday, west of international date line is Sunday. Here is Saturday. Okay. This is the example. Next one. Name the hemispheres of the earth. These are the two hemispheres of the earth. Say regarding international date line. Say regarding international date line, what happened means all the countries of the world made an agreement that each calendar day begins at a midnight. Okay. So the international date line is taken as reference point to find the dates. Understood, children? According to this agreement, all the places on the east of the international date line is one day earlier than the west of the international date line. It is, if it is Sunday on the west of the international date line, it is Saturday on the east of the international date line. This is regarding the international date line. Children, please, we are sending the assignments now. You should write the assignments on the particular day which you are getting and send it to the particular teacher. Please send to all the teachers. Don't forget. Okay. By this, I finished the question answers discussion, children. Let us meet in the next class. Thank you.